from home for the next couple of nights. So, we are, let's see if I can do this. <laughs> We're heading out for our pre-race day, easy four miles. Um, found a trail, keeping it easy, keeping it light. This is the most hardcore taper I've ever followed from Lundo before. So, probably means we're gonna not race awesome tomorrow, but it's been pretty fun. Yes, please. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw dirt. That's excited. Dirt is a runner's best friend. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so race is tomorrow, both only five days. Currently, we're set up in different heats. But I sent an email to the race director to director today saying I think I'm ready to run faster and hope to get in the fast seat with you, Brianna. Which I think you definitely deserve to be in and are ready for. So fingers crossed. Yeah, my PR is from a very busy solo effort, so I don't think it's representative of what tomorrow may bring. I think just being really where I'm at, um, it's so hard to set a time goal. When this is 2020 and the first race of, well, the year, yeah. our track. Um, but I would love to go and just thrive off the energy of the field and such, you know, it's a group of women. Sure. And just make a PR. Whether it's, you know, matching my PR, 0 0.01 seconds in PR, or like a breakthrough race, like just being able to race them on would be so joyful. Seriously, I know, I feel like the nerves are so much less right now just because I'm so happy to be here at all. Yeah, I definitely am battling nerves, um, but the more you know, I talk about the race and I reflect on where I've been, where I'm at now, I'm just excited. Yeah, definitely. And the fact that you're a gamer. Show up! She shows up on race day, people. <laughs> I said it here first. You did. It's about 4.45, so a good time to kind of catch the sunset, or at least what you can see. There's some um, wildfires about 25 miles from here, so it is a little bit hazy. Um, I think, didn't the weather say it was like smoky or... Yeah. So since our run, we ate, <laughs> um, showered, and really have just been staying off of our feet, reading, answering emails, Chill. not doing anything very productive with their lives, <laughs> um, except for preparing physically for the race. about six o'clock and thankfully we live close enough to walk and pick up a meal um, so we're just heading over to an Italian restaurant to pick up our pre-race dinner Heather do you have any like specific pre-race dinner that you always have or not really especially like we we're just saying we're not racing until pretty late tomorrow night so if it's over 24 hours just something that makes me happy and fills me up so that I know I'll sleep well um, but otherwise, you know, pretty much just not super greasy food or like something that's going to make me like burp spices during the race tomorrow. <laughs> that's very much I it. think that's fair. I'm going to a place called hmm, Tannins. Tannins Italian restaurant. I ordered some lasagna and we're splitting a Caesar salad. I got chicken piccata and... And we googled what piccata was. What is piccata? <laughs> I don't know specifically what that means, but I just wanted to make sure it's like a lemon chicken dish with capers and stuff, so. 
Either way, it'll be delicious. All right, we are signing off because you probably can't see us anymore. <laughs> Be determined. Take your best guess, guys. What the heck is Squish? All right, so we just looked up what Squish is. It's a fitness center. The School of Lifting. Look at that. It's on a page for a butt. I love Are that. you ready to expand your knowledge of exercise and nutrition? Click the image above to learn more. All right, home sweet home. Got our dinner. Probably will eat, watch a movie and be confined to our beds for the rest of the night. <laughs> so we are about six hours before our race and Heather and I talked to see like how can we match up our schedules because both of us had a shakeout and found that both of us like to do like six, seven hours before. So the reason for our shakeout is just to not be sitting around all day because we don't want to be complete bums <laughs> before our race. Um, but kind of how Heather was talking about once you start moving, you're like, okay, like the race is coming. Like we're in preparation mode now. Just trying to replace those fears with affirmation, I think is key. Because if you go into a race believing your fears, you're just not like setting yourself up well um, and just not giving yourself a full chance. Sometimes you gotta put away <laughs> the nice when it comes to a performance and be like, okay, like get after it. Like you're here to do well. You can be friends with everybody after, but during it's like, you really need to make moves that are smart for you. Trust in your training and be a little fierce. Yeah, yeah, I think the words that I remember them like describing each of those things is like, preparation is a little bit more gentle. You like have long-term big picture focus and then you go into performance and it's assertive, it's aggressive, it's selfish. And just really narrowing your focus on this lap right now, what am I doing to make the most of my abilities? And not worrying about what everyone else is doing, but just executing your race to the potential that you know you have.